Okay, we are back. Welcome everybody to the channel, to the race. Thank you so much if you're stopping by on like your lunch break or something <laughs> when you have some time. I greatly appreciate it. Um, this is season number three. This is the iRacing AI JKR, I don't know what to call this series, career thing, that. Anyways, today we are in a new class of car. We have moved up in the world to the Mazda MX-5 World Championship of sorts. That's what I'm going with. So race number one here today is at the famed Daytona International Raceway. We have not raced here yet in the previous two series. And uh, it should be interesting. It's probably going to be a big draft fest if the competition is stiff. Uh, it usually is in PCC. I haven't raced the, Pon or the Pontiac geez, the Mazda here in a very long time. Um, but that would be my assumption. Would be that this will be similar to that. Uh, let's see, 120 degree track temp. We have a big, big field here, uh, per usual, which is actually good. No idea what number I am, which is kind of weird. Apparently 199, probably because I have a selected number for this car, so that's cool. We get our actual number. I'm not going to want to practice lap because that would just be interesting. They do have a new pit road here, though. The pit road limiter goes all the way to where it does in real life now, which I think is really cool. Um, but anyways, those will kind of help with those pit road exit accidents. Um, but yeah, so we are here. If you haven't already, drop a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of this series, this content. If you haven't already, go back and watch the Formula V series that came first. Uh, the Spec Racer Ford series that we just finished up recently that came before this. Uh, and you'll kind of be in a loop of how we got to this point in the career. So this should be a good series. I'm looking forward to this. A car I'm much more familiar with than the previous two. Uh, some tracks I'm more familiar with this included. Uh, so hopefully we can run well. Hopefully it's uh, a lot of fun and provides a good show and we can get rocking. As always, if uh, I have any issues with my microphone, those of you that are longtime watchers of my streams or my channel, know that that is a thing, and I apologize for it. There's not a whole heck of a lot I can do about it, unfortunately, at this point. Uh, so it's just kind of what we got, unfortunately. All right, ready for some qualifying. One lap, we got still still the club level type of thing, even though we're in a little more of a touring series on some bigger tracks. So just going to roll the one lap, both because that's what I want to do. And because of that. Uh, of course, this car recently became sequential, if you're not familiar with iRacing and uh, the Mazda Cup and PCC. In my case, this car is sequential for this season, maybe a previous season. The second season has been sequential. Still certainly very new, so if you see me lifting, don't yell at me. I'm still used to that for the car. Ooh, cold tires are not good, which is fine. So the track is pretty easy. It's entire heat on, so that's good. This right here is going to be nuts. Because it's just bonkers when you get a lot of cars going through here once and I actually haven't driven a Mazda Cup car here in a very long time. So this will all be a little bit new. We got plenty of race time, still 20 minute race lengths in this series, so I think there are only nine races on the schedule, so it should be good to get us uh, in the loop of things and up to speed and have good races throughout, so that'll be good. Get the car up to speed, should get some tire heat here on the oval with the higher speeds. We'll spot a brake marker for the bus stop. We're just going to go with the Pontiac brake marker and hope it works. Usually they're okay because the Pontiac is a little bit harder to get slowed down, a little bit heavier. But obviously you're carrying a little bit less speed, so they're usually similar enough. Okay, and apparently I botched it, which means we're going to have a terrible, terrible, terrible fuel lap here because we're not going to have any speed coming into green, but that's okay. That's okay, I wouldn't mind having to pass some cars here, it's all about fun. First race, we really just need a solid race and not to drop it on the field and give up a bunch of points is really the goal. 
Uh, Christopher Bell would be one of the favorites. I was just quickly glancing at the entry list here before we got going, and it looks like he is one of the top, uh, whatever, AI rating skill, whatever drivers, so we expect to see him near the front. The front end there in, had to do a little slight blend. Nothing crazy. Early there, but I wanted to make sure I got in here. Better to put a solid lap down than to go for broke and miss everything and start last. This place will kill you with traffic. This infield section, if you're stuck behind for even two laps, you will lose the front. There's no way you're getting back out of track this long with so few break zones. So, rather start 15th than 40th. It's a weird corner that I feel like I should be using first, but I'm sure it'll be too short to use first. A little bit conservative here on this lap, but like I said, I just kind of want to lap in. If it's a good one, great. I don't think it will be after my fiasco through the bus stop, but we'll try to get through there a little better and keep in mind that we'll be carrying a little bit more speed in the draft in race trim, so something to keep an eye on. We'll just, you know, pick a brake marker there and we'll go with it for this lap. I do like the Mazda. I, I've liked this version of the Mazda a lot in a couple of years, four or five years it's been out. It's a little early there, the yellow light pull, so we'll have to go a little bit deeper than that, I think. We'll see how it pans out with the rest of the field, obviously. If it's just a big draft game, we can be a little conservative in there, being that it's <laughs> surrounded by two massive straightaways, so. I think we're going to be okay here. Probably not the best lap ever, but that's okay. In real life, this race uh, in the February or January, whenever this race was, whether it was with IMSA or whatever, was incredible. <laughs> Just incredible. There was like a four-wide finish among many cars, so... Just a big pack. I think the guy that was leading, it might have been uh, um, the iRacer guy. I can't think of his name. I'm not going to go look right now, but... Uh, you probably know who I'm talking about. But anyways, I think he was one of the guys that was up front and ended up like seventh off of turn four. So it's pretty cool. All right. Everybody should just about be done. Ready to go. Uh, at least good enough. Make sure we got most of the field in. Cool. Awesome. We're going to actually be on the pole. It surprises me a little bit, but obviously uh, the rest of our lap was pretty good. We'll see how the draft impacts that. Quite a bit of fall off one second down to about 11th place, so I guess we'd expect top 10s on pace pretty regularly here. We should have the fuel for a 20-minute race. This should be a uh, typical PCC set that I built a while back. So four gallons should be plenty. 20 minutes will probably be around nine laps or so, so that should be perfecto for that. Hopefully in this series again we need a bunch of resets and death immediately and mistakes by me and etc. etc. So that would be beneficial here. Get everything warmed up. We got our nice paint scheme here. 2016 Monster Cup uh, from the Iris or guy, the other one who I forget his name. This is the scheme he ran. Plan. That was the thing. Plan. Oh, this is weird. We're double file. Apparently, we don't want to do that. All right, new contenders at the front, including the aforementioned Christopher Bell. That's good. Okay, I guess we're going to start second gear because I don't really know, so that's what we're going to go with. Like I said, probably nine laps would be my guess. We might get eight laps, but it should be probably nine laps. So we'll see where we go from there. Eight, I guess, would be really short, so we're probably going to have nine laps.
Apparently they get to accelerate whenever they want because I wasn't ready to go yet, so it's fine. It's probably just going to string out a little bit, but we'll also... Keep it tight in there, try to roll that inside curb, and we will clear for the lead. There's the doggo making an appearance. Hi, doggo. Doggo is eating stuff off the floor. That's not good. What do you have? Whatever. Hi, doggo. You're nice. All right, Dale Jr. is coming from fifth to third. Good start for him. Expect to see him at the front. That's nice, because in the SRF series, he was not very competitive. <laughs> All right, now we see how big the toe is. We're not really going to try to protect or anything on this first lap here. We'll just see how big the toe is, because it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for us to get past and have to see how difficult it is to fight back through. So, see what the toe looks like. If they can even catch us in the toe, I guess eight back is a long way, but there is a big train of them, so if they're okay through the uh, bus stop, they should be all right. Driving one-handed, petting the dog, that's always useful. Looks like they have a little bit of a run here. Not going to be enough to make a challenge into the bus stop or anything. Of course, because we won the poll, I would expect us to have a strong challenge for lap time. You just don't really know how the tow is going to play out. There's a good line of cars there. It looks like there's a separation back in the back. Shift. They're definitely stringing out now. Got a big tow on me. I don't think they'll be able to get me by turn one. So we can maintain from that gap towards the start-finish line. Try to outbreak me on the outside of turn one. Just pinch in tight. Still side by side on my brakes are sticking, that's why we're so slow. Left right there, we don't want to take off this quarter panel. This is what I kind of meant, this is going to get a little crazy at some points here and we are going to spread out. But uh, the draft should more or less keep everybody stuck together, so that'll be interesting to see how that plays out through the AI. Obviously, it's precursors and maybe some future series. Sounds like they are using first gear through there, which is interesting. I guess we're just going to keep using second because. I'd rather do that than get it wrong. Good exit there. Just gonna follow here for now, I think. We're just gonna try to do a little bit. Make a big kerfuffle here with this, so. A short shift to try to push along here. Junior has a big run. We're going to go make sure we get up in line. Definitely overdrew my entry there quite a bit. But uh, we survived. That's going to stack up behind us. All the way back to that second three which is not nine cars deep. So. <laughs> it's just uh, not what I was trying to do, but he had to break early, I assume, because of a shallow entry. So. That's okay. But here they come back, so from a pass in the bus stop, we are going to get passed, I believe, by start-finish line if they elect to take the chance if we don't block. Junior's actually the one with the big run. And he will just about pass us by start-finish. Did we lead that lap? We did, apparently. How much did we lead that by? Three thousandths of a second. So yeah, not a comfort margin by any means. Hey, that's back out of that one that time. Didn't have the run. The junior came from third to first, and he was stuck in there behind me that time. Makes it interesting. 
So really, you don't even need to be leading till the last exit of the bus stop, at least. If not behind that, you can get a nice tow. See how we can play this as we get towards the end. Obviously, I'm going to break away at this point. I'd love for Junior not too defensive here. Kind of helps push him into the bus stop and get away a little bit. I think he will go defensive because that's what AI do. Even this car allows. Rollo doesn't like to snap or anything like some of the other cars do, especially on that last corner there because it has crowned the road. Uh, do we want to take this run? I guess it depends on how big a run we get. We do have plenty of speed space behind that. I'd like to have a nice clean entry into the bus stop, so let's see which way he chooses to go here. He's going to go left, so we'll go right and just stay in it this time and see where that puts us as far as turn-in point. Did not get clear there, not quite, so that is going to hurt us through the whole bus stop section. And be right back to us a little bit, so... That's okay, good to know, good to learn. Starting to spread out here just a little bit. Nate's actually the car with a big run here. Junior has a little bit of a run. Because we were both stuck in there together, he's not going to have as big a run as Nate did. Still going to be able to pass us by turn one. So we definitely don't want to be leading into the bus stop on the last lap, it looks like. That's the story here. Him off the brakes just a little bit there to try to contest this spot. God, Junior with a big pinch there. We almost ended up in a big accident. Slot in line there. Still pretty tough in the top, it looks like nine or so, maybe more. Apparently it blinks at you, it's Junior on brakes there. Force us to get on the brakes, maybe you got some curb. Messed up my rhythm just a little bit, we didn't get a quite as good of a brake zone there. Hi dog, stop sniffing my feet please. I'm gonna test that on the oval this time where uh, the lunar blinks at you. So maybe I'm sure changing myself on RPMs. So right when it blinks is when you get to the limiter, apparently. Which is fine. Good to know. So this time we will get to see, and we're not going to be close enough to make a pass, so we'll get to see kind of where we need to be here. As far as distance to get a nice total. It starts to separate behind four folks, and maybe this is the time to separate. Let's see if we can hold this run all the way. Make a pass, that would be a nice development to have. We are going to make the pass, no problem. Back to the yellow line for turn one. Big kerfuffle behind us, four car battle at the front now. A little bit wider line here, still don't want to be giving up any entry, but actually overdrove there just a little bit. No harm. So we want to drop Jeff just a little bit. He's going to go Dave still, who's taking on the back here. Dave's made a nice charge through the field from where he started. So it's again interesting to note. Christopher Bell has actually fallen back outside the top five, so didn't expect that, but again, this is a little bit of a crapshoot race here. Just about halfway here. Four and a half laps complete. Uh, 
be very well. Nine and now the whole last separation, but nobody's here. Very interesting. This is the first time since the opening lap that we've led into the bus stop. We'll see if they decide to take a stab at it here. And they're a little deep since Junior was trying to make sure I could take a normal entry and protect, which worked out okay. Hi, dog. What are you doing, girl? All right, so let me spin a back and go. Which is fine again. Junior with a big run here. Might both go by in the big toe. First time we'll be back to third, it looks like, possibly. It's like once they get past and get some of that air, they kind of s separate out. It doesn't really have a much speed advantage anymore, which is interesting. Nice aggressive entry there. It stopped, get a turn. That was good. Cleared the pass. So obviously Daytona is the most serious example of this. After this, I'll run through three, and we'll point out some of the other tracks where the draft could come into play. Obviously, this big Roval is going to be the most prevalent, uh, but even a track like Sebring, down the back straightaway and a little bit down the front straightaway, you can get some pretty big sucks. So, Toe is a thing in this car for sure. Low horsepower, pretty chunky body rather relative to a Formula car. I just don't know if I should be using first. It feels wrong. It feels like it's too short, but maybe I'm missing something. It's fine. A little bit wide there, just a little too eager back on the throttle, which is okay. The so, yeah, top. I am really broken away from David Lynn and some of those guys back further, so even if things all go terribly wrong, hopefully we can stay in that range. There's Junior again, we might let him go and see if that's a viable option here. Make sure we get in front of Nate there. Oh, get a suck too soon here, so I'll run out wide here for a second. So last thing you want to do is pop out there and then end up on top of him in the middle of the corner. Oh, my dog looks so adorable. All right, Nate's going to have another big run. He's going to just follow Junior. We should be able to get by Junior, and we do. Probably three laps to go here, right on the cusp of three laps to go. We might get four of them, I guess it would be three. Ruben coming up for the first time there, Jeff. A little challenge, still on the pipe back here for the first, like, seven million dollar drops. Jason and Greg just a little bit, but if they have a chaotic yeah, infield section behind me, they'll... As my girlfriend would say, into the thick of it, which apparently is a TikTok thing from the Backyardigans. The Backyardigans were after my time, so I don't know anything about them. I know my brother watched them, but I don't know anything about it myself. Fuel's plenty. Again, some brake stick. These pedals are just atrocious and they're ready for retirement. They're five years old now, I guess. So It's a lot of use I've given these puppies in five years, though, I promise you. I did a lot of racing on my uh, Mad Cats Xbox wheel and pedals for the first, whatever, three years I was on iRacing, I guess. But, man, these things last five years. They've had a lot of miles and a lot of wins on them, so... A lot of practice. <laughs> Definitely uh, probably gotten more than their fair share of mileage, so. It's good and bad. Might be able to break away here from some of these guys. See if we can just do a little half protect here. Get in there smoothly. That was nice. Okay, hopefully, maybe now we can get separation from. Fourth, maybe. 
on the dock or something and then bolting away. That was terrifying. Yes, maybe we lost him, maybe just a little. Certainly lost fifth from fourth there, so. Two laps to go here. I assume it'll be two laps to go, should be two laps to go. Pretty straightforward lap that time. Just about got the thing stopped and turned in. We'll self-clear on Junior there. Take the liberty to use that track space. Definitely dropped Seabell and those guys back at fifth, so. Time to a four-car race again. We haven't really dropped back further than third, briefly third in this event, so. Starting at the front was definitely beneficial. Definitely dropped Christopher Bell and Jay and Greg. Two seconds, just about outside the tow range of this place, so. Now the question becomes, when do we want to let someone go? <laughs> or do we want to let someone go? We've led the last two laps from the front. Do we want to even get behind? I know that obviously the draft is pretty potent. Uh, if we're leading, do we want to go back on purpose and or something? I guess it really depends on how many laps we have to go here. I guess we can do it immediately if we're getting the white flag. Here comes Junior with a big run. Gonna let him go. He's going to try to follow through. That's really going to hurt us right here. All but got a 1x there. Probably going to hurt any chance of us getting two laps there with how slow we were all through there. Should get the white flag here. We do have enough of a run even yet to go by Junior if we wanted to. Not going to right now. Yep, one lap to go, just barely. Cross line right at about 2.11. Must have been about a second off pace, yeah, it was, so. All right, two seconds back to fifth. No need to worry about Seabell or any of them yet. Or I guess probably at all, unless weird shit really happens. I think he only ran one Rolex in like 2004 in the uh, two car with Tony Stewart, but I don't think he's run another one. Obviously, ran a lot of sports cars, and oh, he ran the Rolex with his dad in 2001. Duh! Ignore me. I think my mom got out there. All right, so we're doing okay. We got half a second behind, so we should be. Safe from that with the pole from in front. Yep, seven back, we should be okay. We'll just lift early, get a nice run into the bus stop and be clear with that. Okay, there's a big run here though. Let Junior go defensive if he wants. Let Junior get a nice normal entry there. Get a little space that we're able to suck up. Big run. We'll swoop out here just to make sure we don't get there too early. Oh yeah, feel the suck. Alright, drive out here. Hopefully we don't get put three wide or any other weird shenanigans that iRacing sometimes does. Be able to protect that. And that's a win, season opener. He won.
Well, that was great. That's exactly what we want to do. Start on the pole, controlled the race for the most part from the front, and grab the victory. Wow, they were uh, just almost as close right there. Four thousands between them behind us. That lap, we were three thousands apart. Top four within a quarter of a second. That's pretty wild. So, great run. All of us. I mean, that was, that was blast. So. Definitely exactly what we wanted to do there. Totally could use for there. I'm an idiot. First gear is pretty pretty tall, I guess, so could use first gear in all these corners apparently. I don't think we'll be able to use second or the bus stop, but what the hell, we might as well try and see what happens. That was dumb on my part. I apologize for being a complete meathead. I don't know why I thought it couldn't work. Obviously, if the AI are doing it, it should be doable, but this is me we're talking about, so. Just want to make sure that the timer elapses so that we get the results as we've seen in the past. You could use seconds a little iffier there, but you could. Sure, some kind of problem there. Weird not last lap since we finished last round. I actually like. Alright, we'll come in, practice a nice hard pit entry, why not? A little too hard there, definitely speeding, but that's fine. These cars have pit limiters? Apparently they do. It's terrible. It's a five, but pit limiter nonetheless for those of you that are so inclined. Alright, so now we just wait for the results to be officialized. Officialized, is that word? Officiated? To be a thing? Christian Schellner is staff? I didn't realize that. Maybe not all these people are actually staff. I thought maybe they were. I don't know that for sure. They're official now. So we'll back out. There's no need to do a review of the points or anything. Being the first thing, obviously we are the point here by one. So that was good. We won the poll. We had the best lap. I should say we had the best lap. I assume we did because we ran well. I don't know that for a fact. So why not? Did we have the best lap? No, we did not. Junior 212 won. Some of the guys at the back there that were like in the tow the whole time ran 211s. 211 4 for Bell. 211 4 for Jay. He was quickest so far. 11 4. So yeah, we were like 8 tenths off actually. Which is <laughs> fine. Uh, apparently, I ran that on the wrong profile. I just realized that it wasn't my fault. So, we're just going to roll with it for this series. We're just going to do that. Otherwise, it'll be confusing. So, <laughs> mistake by me. Surprise, surprise. All right. Thank you so much. Like I said, if you haven't already, like. If you enjoyed this, subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos. I'll check back. I promised I'd check the schedule. And I forgot to check the schedule. There's Lime Rock. Mid Ohio, Road America, I'll definitely be drafting there. Road Atlanta, Sebring, definitely. Oh, it's Sebring Club. Okay, cool. Uh, Summit Point Raceway Short, we ran there. Watkins Classic, again, a bunch of drafting there. Uh, and then uh, Laguna Seca, the wrap up season. So, nine events, so that'll be fun. Thank you all so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed it, like I said, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from this channel. And until next time, bye bye.